it's me, Shrewboy313. This is uh, The Last Tinker, City of Colour. In the last episode, we, or the last part rather, we made it to, I don't know, the market district and we need 500 crystals to get into the race. This part, I think this is the, what is it? Yeah, this is the cargo rail towards the fighting workshop, I want to say, so that's what we're going to be starting off with in this part. I mean, we may be able to get to the, what is it, um, the farm as well, this part, but if not, it's not the end of the world. So, I mean, <laughs> at least I'm making some progress. Right, talk to Brick. My guess is that this is going to be like, since we're headed to the fighting workshop, this is going to be like the fighting tutorial, maybe? To be fair, I don't even know if there is combat in this game, other than punching these crates. Hey, look at that. 93 crystals already. We'll be at, hey, a floaty brush. We'll be at 500 in no time. Ooh, I wonder if the final floaty brush is towards the farm. That is a thought. So, I mean, that's two of three of them. Or two out of three. And I'm pretty sure we only got two out of five in the last area as well. Right. Koru, I was hoping you'd come. Also, I never mentioned in the last part you can hold down Y to speed up the text boxes. Right. The others are waiting inside. Cool, let's go. Um, is there anything I can punch first? <laughs> right. See, I don't know whether we're gonna need crystals for anything else. Like, whether there's gonna be any stores anywhere. Hi. Do I assume I need to get in line with that? Party. Oh, it's a punching bag. <laughs> Drama. <laughs> right, we've punched everything it looks like. Ah, oh look, there's a space happily marked out for us. Right. There's more of you every day. It's good to know that people are willing to stand up against the bullies from the Red District. Alright everyone, let's limber up. Make sure you go through all of the exercises, no skipping. Let's go people! Exercises comp- I assume this is one of them? Oh. We actually need to talk to people. Oh, uh, hello. Uh, uh, I'm new here. You're, you're Kokoro, right? Can you help me figure out this t test? I think Brick said. Do a five hit combo, combo on every dummy at least once, but never hit one twice. A five hit combo, but never the same one twice in a row. Ah. So it's just like this, oh god, oh, oh that was easy. Yeah, so it's just like, keep pressing B and then just like move the control stick in the direction of the next one. That was nice and easy enough. Right, Koru, is that you? Guess what, I've set up a new record. 14 hits in a row. Impressed? Good. I dare you to beat that. Now, go to your bag. God, that guy is so loud. Right, uh, combo attacks, let's go. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, it moves, okay. I can see. Hey. Hey, kid, I just beat your record. What? 15 hits? Are you kidding me? Also, I like how I've given every character the same voice. That is because I cannot do voices. <laughs> well, at least. Right. Koru, you here to do some dodging? Okay, then show me what you can do. Use L and RB to dodge in any direction. Ah! Okay. So it's literally just while you're moving, hit RB and you'll dodge. How do you do it, Koru? I can't even get half that far. Okay, time for you to dodge punch practice. You know the drill, of course. Choose a target and show me three dodge punches. Dodge toward- oh, okay then. So it's just gonna be like... Punch! Punch. Punch. There we go. That wasn't too bad. You've done enough dodging. Good job, Toru. Or Koru, even. Toru was from a Yu-Gi-Oh game. Hey, I did it. It looks like you're ready for the fight now, Koru. I have something special planned for you this time. Step into the center of the ring when you're ready. Cool. Also, I know I did this last episode, but I want to check, like, my... Like, after that guy who was just like, repeatedly, I want to check my audio levels again, just to be safe, so I'll be back in a sec. Right, it was, lit it was literally just that one guy that was loud. <laughs> right. But let's step into the ring, yeah, audio levels are fine. 
Alright, people, listen up. We all know Koro is the best fighter here. Am I? <laughs> Let's give him a bit of a challenge today. You'll be fighting him in groups. Koro, show them what you're made of. I've already forgot. Let's just do this, shall we? <laughs> oh! Oh, I guess it's combos. Did it. I'm assuming, like, um, as time goes on, like, enemies would probably get harder if there are even enemies in this game. Hit your opponents before they- okay. Like, do I really need to counter if I'm just, like, swiveling around like that at breakneck speeds? You ready to face more opponents? Keep it up, dodging, and then dodge- nah, I'm good. Ooh, that's fine. We cool. I don't need to dodge, I just need to punch everyone, don't I? There we go, literally I didn't even need to dodge. Monitor your health, collect crystals if you need them. Or health crystals even. Literally I didn't even need to. <laughs> it literally just seems like all you need is that move combo. I mean, like I say, I assume if there are enemies in this game, like, they're, they're gonna get more difficult. Right, I guess there's nothing more I can teach you. Hey! Ah, okay, cool. These gloves prove you've learnt your skills from me. Nice. Hey, they even go with my leg things. <laughs> Ready to use my skills on the street. Right, come on, tap where we off now. Oh my god, that was a really roundabout way to go, wasn't it? Right, so I mean, at least it was a thing where you need to... Where you need to, like, hit up both of them. Like, both the farm and the fighting arena, rink, whatever you want to call it. Ooh, you can jump on the rail. Oh, that's good. Again, me. <laughs> right, tap. Which way are we going? Sorry, wait, where, where did tap go? Ah, over that way. I wasn't paying attention, I'll be honest. Oh, there we go. Farm's right there. Ta-da! Well, I mean, I know I've said me a lot in this, but me. Hey, Biggs! Can you show us where Muddy is? <laughs> is Biggs okay? Okay, bye. I'm just gonna, like, wander around and punch things for a little bit. I'm assuming, really... Unless there's, like, a crouch button. Um... Yeah, unless there's like a crouch button, someone has to be really short to get under there. Yeah, I'm here, Muddy. I'm just gonna do everything else, don't worry. Alright. Hey, look at that, we're almost at 400 crystals! W working who? Can I like... I'm tempted to like, just drop... Oh, there's a space, I don't think I'd make that. Yeah, since there's no jump button, I don't think I'd be able to make that. That was fine. Right, we're headed off over and up there, right, that's fine. Which again means I need to go everywhere else first. Oh, sweet harmonica, nice. <laughs> Honestly, I'm here for this soundtrack. <laughs> right. Um, ah, there's a button there. Or a lever, I suppose, not a button. Um... Alright, I don't know whether there's anything here or not, but... Hmm. I mean, like I say, I couldn't see anything, but that doesn't mean that there wasn't anything there. Hmm, who knows. Also, I like how I completely missed that bridge. Ta-da! Well, I mean, I can... Maybe part of the farm needs me to... Well, I mean, I've just noticed there's, like, little patches of mushrooms. I mean, there's a cart of them over there, so maybe, like, part of the job we're gonna be doing here requires us to go there. Ooh, what's this? Jump pad! <laughs> did that just, like, save me from... Oh, it did, okay. <laughs> it just saved me doing a tiny little bit of work. <laughs> Hi, we're back. Oh. Alright, I guess we're trapped here now. Is that you, boy? I'm back here. 
Also, I can't help that I'll push, put on like a really posh accent for some of these guys. I'll just do it. Right. Hey, kid. What brings you two here? We'd like to earn some crystals, old geezer. Oh, and by the way, the spike plants have grown back. Oh, blast those things. Sis, everything's paper, though. So, I mean, they've not exactly grown. Until now, you've only ever helped me harvesting shrooms. It's time I taught you something new. Let's see if we can find Big so I do apologize, I've just started yawning. Real professional. Alright, learn from Muddy. Oh, I don't know where that other floaty key could be. But like I say, this is just like a casual run through of the game, not like a 100% run. Right, now whistle him over. Oh, here's a dot. Can I hug Muddy? Good job, kid. Now you see all those mushroom beds around there? They start glowing... Oh, glowing when old Bigs... Wait. Oh, they start glowing when old Bigs here stands on them. So that's what you're going to do. I'm going to cut down those good-for-nothing weeds while you practice with Bigs and activate those beds. You can also hold LB. Oh, that's good. Hey, dude. Oh, oh I guess it's like he gives off the spores. Right, got it. Uh, is Does this count as one of them? It does. Right, okay. Come on, Bigs, let's go. Oh, my heart. This is adorable. I suppose it's like the lovable idiot character, really, isn't it? Like the sweet little simpleton. Right, hey Muddy, I did it. Not bad for a first try. I assume he wants to go get the other ones. We'll have to leave the beds like that. I'll harvest the shrooms later. Now on to the next bunch. Cool. Let's go, Muddy. <laughs> it reminds me of Patrick Star a little bit, I'll be honest. Hello. Aww. The Name me something more pure and innocent than this. Keep sounds like he's saying my name repeatedly. Right, one. Aww. Disappointed. Happy, sad. Happy, sad. Happy, sad. <laughs> it sounds a little bit like he's saying Koru. Bless him. Hey, so I wasn't wrong about opening up the the bridge. I guess technically by doing that, this I just like save time now. Right, am I gonna have to like bring him back up? Cool. I, I don't know whether I have to, but I'll do it just in case. Right. Also, it's doing that thing where like he's a little bit slower than we are. So like, I kind of have to keep waiting for him. <laughs> right, oh, Muddy's just there. Guess he got rid of those plants. Oh dear. Bye. Aww. Well, it looks like Biggs was a little too heavy for the old bridge. Whistling won't do any good, but don't worry. Biggs has a special connection to all the beds he has activated. Go and press the switch on one of the beds. Ah. Oh, cool. Oh, is it like a warp thing for him? Okay. Right, okay. And then if we press the switch... Hey, there we go. That's kind of cool. <laughs> right, hey, I'm done. <laughs> Good job, kid, you're a natural. One last batch and we're done. Ah, I think we need to be about, we need to be in a, within a distance of him, okay? Hey dude, look, come on, Muddy. No, you're big, it's not Muddy. Right, yeah, again, we can only go so far. Right. I'm wondering if this means that, like, either Biggs or someone similar to Biggs is going to be, like, a recurring theme throughout this game. Right, this is where it gets a little tricky. The problem is that Biggs is too large for their low archers. The darn things keep sinking in the water. Anyhow, we need to shrink him a little. Um, right, that's been activated. Are there any more to activate around here? Um... Put him under the large flower and then press the switch. Say hello to Bomber. Don't worry, he's still big, but a little more compact. Working with mushroom folk, you have to get used to the crazy things like that. 
Okay, bomber. Off you go, I suppose. But I mean, like, I... Oh, wait a minute. Do I, like, maybe have to... Make him big, then break this? Is that a thing? And I've just realised that I can jump over there. I'm a moron. Wow, okay. Yeah, so we need Bomber. Right. <laughs> Cute. And then we hop over here. There we go. And we're here. Right. Oh, we have to break these for him. Cool. Hey, there we go. We're at 400 crystals. We are, we are honestly going to have crystals to spare after this. Alright, so you stop there, I assume. Oh, no, there's one up here. Did not notice that. Alright, if we pop Bomber there. Yo, the sweet harmonica's back, lads. <laughs> right, we'll leave Bomber there. And then... Yep, okay. Oh, wait, RB, like... So it's like... You can run or you can, like, dodge roll across it, it looks like. <laughs> so sweet. Right, there we go, there's that one. And then the last one, I'm assuming, is up here. Hey, there we go. Also, I'm just going to leave that guy there. While I punch these up. Whee! <laughs> Saving time. <laughs> Right, again, I'm assuming I'm going to need to take Bomber slash Biggs with me, so I'm just going to, like, dump him there again. You did it, kid. And boy, you were fast. I think you've earned yourself a little bonus today. Meet me by the patio so I can pay you. Are we, uh... I was about to say, are we going to the patio then? Yeah, does this mean I did the dojo and the farm? Or the mushroom farm, muddy fields, whatever they were called? I don't remember. I'm such a great listener, aren't I? <laughs> cool, we're here. Here you go, kid. 250 crystals. You've earned every one of them. You can have my old backpack too. It should help you carry all that money around. <laughs> oh, party. Thanks to you, I can take it easy harvesting those shrooms. Anyway, I guess you'll be heading off now, huh? Enter the right. I wonder where that last floaty brush was. Oh well. It's not the end of the world that I didn't get it. Like I say, I'm not actively going for a 100% run. Just super casual. Uh, did I go up there? I don't remember whether I did. Well, I must have done since there's nothing here. Right. Cool, let's head back into the market, I suppose. Right, the dojo, yeah, with the, do the rails to the dojo were up there, that's fine. And then the market is here. Also, even though this episode may be a little short, I keep saying episode this part, it'll be a little short. Like, the way that those two... Oh, wait. Hey, look, it's Ape Face, collecting trash again. Sis, my entire life is trash, so, I mean... At this point, it's just going on with my life. <laughs> Ooh, the crates have respawned. Right, I was saying it worked out pretty well that doing those two just made it, like, a little under 20 minutes. So I'm going to end this part here. Yo, I want card bread now. And next time we're going to be, well, you know, kicking off whatever's there. So, thank you for watching. I hope I've helped in any way, even though... It is pretty self-explanatory to this point. But thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time.